One, two, three, go. Today, I will be racing my 2018 808 horsepower Dodge Demon versus my last call matching VIN 2023 Dodge Demon 170, which makes two different types of horsepower. The first one is 900 on 93, which is regular fuel. The second one is 1,025 horsepower on E85 racing fuel. But for the video's sake and for the car's sake, since it's only got 100 miles on it, we're not going to be putting it on E85 today. And for the video, it's better if it's on 93 so we can see the real deal, true difference. Now, I know when you guys hear a Demon, y'all think it's the same car, but it's actually not. This 2018 Demon platform is totally different versus this 2023 Dodge Demon 170 platform. Come here, as you guys can see, the first thing I'm pretty sure you guys see off the rip is the wide body on this one. This one has wide body all around the car. This one only has wide body on the back and a slim body on the front. A lot of you guys are like, why did Dodge do that? Well, the reason for that was, a few reasons actually, they say better aerodynamics, which come on, who believe in that? But they lost 16 and a half pounds just by taking off the wide body in the front. They both come on drag radials. It's a difference, as you guys can see. This one comes with skinny on the front, 245s in the front, and it got 315s in the back. 315s, 50, rim size 17. As you guys can see, the tire is a little meteor on the Demon 170. If you come over here to the regular Demon, this comes 315s all around. 315s, rim size 18. 15 by 40, rim size 18. So like I said, it is a little bit more meat on the back of the 170 than it is on the regular Demon, but they both still are going to grip crazy with 315s being all around the car. Well, this particular car, this one has skinnies on the front. One thing that is similar with the Demons, the 170 and the regular Demon, is they both come with Easter eggs around the car that you got to find. I know y'all like, what you mean by Easter eggs since it's not April, but... Easter is not in April. Easter ain't in April? No. When is it? February. I thought it was May. I don't know, y'all come below. But one of them is, as you guys can see, this one says alcohol injected. That's actually what the 170 stands for. If you can come over here, the 170 basically means E85, racing gas. I think it's like 170 proof. And as you guys can see, it got the golden eye, or yellow eye, however you want to call it. I like to call it the golden eye. While this one over here doesn't have nothing but the regular demon, and it has no eye. One thing that is similar, whether you have a Demon 170, whether you have a Demon, whether you got a Hellcat, whether you got a Scat Pack, whether you got a V6, whether you got 2016, the interior is no difference. It's no difference at all. One thing that is different with these two particular cars too is the dash say 220 on the Demon 170. The 2018 Demons only had 200 and they had white gauges, as you guys can see, the gauges in there are red. Like I said, y'all know Dodge didn't upgrade the interior or exterior, nothing crazy, but I mean, like I said, both of them have Alcaterra steering wheels. I think both of them have Alcaterra, yeah, Alcaterra tops. That one says 200 on the dash, as you can see, while the other one says 220 and the gauges are white. Let's pop the hood on them to show you guys a few more things. We're gonna, throughout the whole video, we're gonna be finding the Easter eggs for you guys too. Get to the, get to the heart and soul, heart and soul and muscle of these cars, man. As you guys can see, what you are looking at is a Dodge Demon. Wow, over here is a Dodge Demon 170. The Dodge Demon you're looking at currently has a red block, as you guys can see. Right there, the block is red. Now, if you guys come over here to the Demon 170, the block is yellow. And the belt is green, like I said. But, I don't know if you guys can tell, but the 170 has a 3D embroidery mm -hmm. and it's coming up. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. You can see it. You can really see it on the side right here, I think. You can show them like how much space is right there. As you guys can see, it's lifting up. Mm -hmm. Now, if you come over here to the Demon, Dodge Demon, it doesn't have that. The Demon is just sitting on top. Still crazy and grimacing nevertheless, but it's not 3D. So that's a cool feature. But um, a few things that's different in this car. It's a lot, like I said, it looks, it looks kind of similar, but if you really know what you're looking at, it's not. One thing that is different is the throttle body. This one has a 95 millimeter throttle body, as you guys can see. 95 millimeter throttle body. That's, that's still crazy and humongous, right? But over here you have a 105 millimeter throttle body, bro. Yes, you have a 105 millimeter throttle body. And it also makes 21 
pounds of boost, while this one only makes 14 and a half, which is like 45% more pounds of boost. That's crazy. If you if you know racing, you know that's crazy. And this one, like I said, has a warranty on it from the factory. Green built from the factory, E85 from the factory. If the car blows up, Dodge gotta replace it. And this one has, a, like I said, both of them have Easter eggs. This is one of the Easter eggs for this one, the last call. This one doesn't have that. As you guys can see, the belt is black. And if, if you guys take a look in here, this one has one cooler feature though. It has a demon right here in the light. I don't know if you guys can see it or gonna be able to see it, but it has a demon in the lights. Well, if you take a look over here on this one, it just has direct connection. So that's one thing that's different. Should we start them up and let them hear them? Yeah, start them up and let them hear them. Which one you want to hear first? 2018? Let's, let's, let's go from 2018. Now, keep in mind, this car does have a muffler delete. I will be doing the muffler delete on that car real soon. But this car is, I think, a little bit louder right now, if I'm not mistaken. But we're going to see. Y'all tell me in the comment section. Sounds crazy, right? So that's the supercharger on the demon in the exhaust on it. Y'all let me know what y'all think. So that's the demon exhaust. Like I said, it's not stock. It does have a muffler delete on it. But it's crazy nevertheless. The wine was good. Yeah. But this wine over here is also insane. louder, bro. It's this wine That's over here is in, insane. Oh yeah, and this car does come from the factory and it does pop. Yeah. Now another thing I want to tell y'all before I do this real quick. Uh these cars platform is totally different. Everything under the car and all this is basically different, bro. They took the engine, they was blowing up regular demon engines trying to make this engine so much that they had to just upgrade the whole engine and like start basically start over so this engine is way more stronger if you guys did not know now drive trains as you guys know back in 2018 these demons used to have like drive, drive train problems and they used to break this drive train is 50 percent stronger which is crazy think about that this also has a new trans brake feature than the regular demon has. Like I said, in 2018, it was like more problems with the trans brakes. Racers were having problems, so Dodge just figured let's go and change the whole new trans brake and make it better. Now, this has a full engine upgrade. It has rods, new rods, new pistons, new cranks. Like I said, basically a whole nother engine upgrade. Another thing is the quarter mile. This one does it in 9.65, which is insane for a factory quarter to be running nine, right? But you know Dodge, they had to step it up. So this one does 8.9. In a quarter mile, bro, which is up there with McLaren 720s, all type of supercars. This one was too, but this one just on another level. Oh yeah, this one that does have a 3.0 liter supercharger, and this one has a 2.7. So that's another thing. Why another reason why the wine on this one is going to be way more loud than the wine on that one because this has a 3.0 liter. This one has a 2.7 liter supercharger. So like I said, it's a lot of stuff. If, but if you look at the eye, the basic thing that looks different is the wide bodies. That's it. And, but the cars are totally different platforms. Let's hear this one. Y'all hear that pop off the instant? They just, that's a, like I said, no memo for delete, no nothing. Unless you guys hear the wine real quick. Oh, so now Young Thug trying to get paid. Free Thug. You can, you can all make it tell it sounds crazy. They got the police right there. Like I said, off the in, off the instant, off the off the muscle. <laughs> Sounds crazy. Go show the back. Oh, the yeah, the pops. It, it's already burbling, bro. <laughs> the backfires. That's a stock. That's a stock exhaust doing it. That's a stock exhaust doing it, bro. And it's not. And it's not all the way on a thousand horsepower neither, so keep that in mind, bro. Like I said, the cars are it's, it's not even at nothing alike. Yeah, it's not even at it's, it its maxed out potential yet, bro. It's not even broken in yet. So like I said, the cars are nothing alike. Nothing alike. Now, if you want to buy one, this will cost you like 130 140 
Uh, if it's brand new, like 160, like with 300 miles on it, if you want to buy one of these, it'll be MSRP plus $100,000 in this today's market. So that's how much this costs. Basically in the 200s, this one in like one in the 100s. Now, guys, another thing is, as you guys can see, just Easter eggs. This one has Air Grabber with the Demon on it, which is fire. And this one does it. I don't know why Dodge didn't add it to this one, but it is what it is. This car also came with a crate. Now, with the crate, it consisted of skinnies in the front, a different PCM tune, you know, different things like that. This one did not come with a crate. Let me tell you the reason why this one did not come with the crate, because the crate is already on the car. What you mean by that, Cam? This is what I mean. The skinnies are already on the front because they took the wide body off. And the PCM tune is already on the car. It comes on E85, you know, racing fuel. So this car has already basically got the crate in it while this one didn't. And Dodge wanted to eliminate the hassle of having to go to the dealership, get your PCM put in, change the tire. So they just said, okay, we're going to make this car right here a one-stop shop and have everything automatically off the lot for you and just ready to race. Another thing is that's cool with this car. If you if you get any gas, so what I mean by that is if you, if you get 93 in the car and you want half a tank, you could put 85 in the car, and when you do that, the car got a tune and a PCM on it that reads the the whole fuel system. So if you get 93 in it on 50%, and you put some 85 in it, you might not have 75% ethanol mix, but you might have like 66, and then the car horsepower will adjust to that. So you might have, instead of 900 horsepower, you might have 990 instead of 1025 all right now another thing you guys may notice is i don't have a back seat in my 2018 demon that's because i bought it without a back seat those cars had an option to not get a back seat but i wanted the back seat since i already had one that didn't have a back seat let's start it up show you guys the 2018 platform as you guys can see the demon pops up right there it's 200 on the dash it's got the white gauges now this screen right here is way, way easier to work in a nutshell. That's all it is. As you guys can see, it got auto, it got eco, got the valet mode when somebody is valeting your car and you don't want them going over 15 miles per hour. Got the drag options. I never clicked this. So this is line lock. As you guys can see, this got the line lock ready. I never use this. This, this car does have lunch control, like I said. This car is crazy. Race cool down. Don't know what this screen is showing. All conditions must be met before this feature will activate. Uh, you got a shift light tells you when to shift then you got lunch control and you can lunch it at 1500 rpms 1600 just depends this car like i said this car was crazy by dodge to come out in 2018 so it's a lot of options that you guys and i also i also didn't know myself with a lot of features like i said you can customize your settings and you can also go to drag now when you go to drag mode it just goes through its checkpoints as you guys can see, the AC turns into heat. On, I know you guys can't feel it, but right now it's heat coming out because all the AC is going to cool the engine. Drag suspension, drag traction, drag transmission, everything went dragging. It's ready to race. It's ready to run eights, nines, tens. Right now. Well, not eights, my bad. It's ready to run low tens right now, easily. So, yeah, that's Dodge for you. We're going back to Eco to save gas. It's pretty much the screen. Everything else, you know, controller, nav, climate. It's regular stuff, not demon stuff. So let's get to the 170. Now we're in the demon 170. Let's turn it on. As you guys can see, the 170 pops up with the golden eye. 220 on the dash, red dash. It's like a red eye dash. Instead of in there, it was like an original demon dash, you know, the oranges. But as you can see, it got way more buttons right here. You got the lunch right here. You got the trans brake, traction on and off, screen on and off. You got the SRT. Y'all know we're going to click the SRT page instantly. To see what it's talking about. As you guys can see, just off the click, it's so much different. Like, if you hit this, it chills down the engine. This is the chiller. It cools down your engine. Then you got line lock. That one had line lock too, but this line lock is way better because the trans brake is way better. And the drive shaft in here is way better. You got a shift light like you had in the other one. It tells you when to shift. Let's go to drag option. As you guys can see, the line lock, trans brake, lunch control. A race cool down. Nah, that's the race cool down. This is my first time actually hitting performance pay. I'm thinking this is when you drive the car and it tells you how much horsepower it's making on the street right there at the time. So, as you guys can see, it power it shows. What's the highest we can get it to? Like 600? 488. Yeah, that's just hitting it. Like I said, you got the gauges. And that's horsepower? Yeah, you got the oh, everything basically. So you got the engine. Oh, you can dyno it. That's crazy. 
You can dyno it? That's crazy. This car has a built-in dyno. I never knew that. That's crazy, Cam fam. It's crazy. We might have to dyno it one day, Cam fam, on the street. Uh, let's go to drive modes. Like I said, this one is the same right there. You go to custom, as you guys can see, 900. It's on 93 right now. When it, when it goes to um, E85, it's going to say 1,025. Yeah, I got to show you guys that when I break it in. As you guys can see, it got the same drag mode as my 2018. Everything gets the same. Yeah. A lot of different stuff in the 170 than you do in the Demon. The D Demon 170 is basically uh, enhanced and corrected Dodge Demon. This car is what they intended for that car to be. At the time, I was mad this car came out because... You know, I thought that was gonna be the the last the last call, basically the last demon. But I'm happy this car came out because it's everything and better that that car is supposed to be in. So I'm not mad about that. Y'all ready for the race, Cam fam? I think that's pretty much it. It's time to race now. Let's get it. Go to forty. All right. One, two, three, go. Slow down. It's not pulling up. It's gripping over that good too, ain't it? It's gripping good too, ain't it? Mm -hmm. They jump light. Oh like, God, they jump, keep, they jump, they jump gripping good, and it's keeping up too. Oh look, we gonna turn around right here. Hey, I kept my car kept losing power for two. We kept um making me get out of it. Yeah. But yours doing that? Yeah. I think because we on rocks. I probably gotta turn my chest all the way off. Yeah, you probably gotta turn all that off all the way so they can uh So we can, but I don't wanna lose all chest out here on that road though. Alright. Yeah. 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 So I'm ready when you're ready. One, two, three, go! Oh my god, they oh, jumped out the gate too ain't So there you have it, Cam Fam, the world's first ever road race with a Demon 170 in a Demon. I feel like, now keep in mind too, I got to tell y'all this too. My Demon isn't on the regular tire setup. I did finally get some Screet, some Screet performance tires, and this is probably the best traction I done had out this car since I had it. I had it for two years. Y'all know this car comes on drag radials. They, they get a little bit more thread than these, but barely, so... Yeah, but I was trying to look for um some screen tires like that for this, but I ain't really found none yet, but I'm gonna keep looking. But I feel like this car is good. It don't spin a lot, and it, it's smart. This car has a, a smart computer system to whereas if it feels any type of gravel or any type of rocks, it shifts off complete power and it's, it resets every time. So this car is not gonna let you spin out and wreck. That's what the car is trying not to do. This car, on the other hand, don't care. He would do that. <laughs> He's a real deal demon that would do that. But I feel like the race went how I expected it to go. The first one, like I said, I was spinning a little bit, and um, it was stop, it was stalling the power. Then it get back in, stall again because it was like it was, we was racing in Mexico with a lot of gravels and rocks around. But once you guys seen in the second race, once this car fully sat down and lunch and everything was just working in a perfect condition, it was just annihilating this car. And my cousin. What you were saying, cuz, from the outside? It's, it sit down like a truck off. He said it sat down like a truck off at the back. So maybe when I start racing in the future, yeah, I have no a cameraman. In the yeah, no spinning in the wheels because these wheels are, as you guys can see, way, way bigger. 315s by 50s on the 17. And these are 315s by 40 on the 18. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Another thing I'm going to tell y'all is this one has two piston brakes in the back. And this one has four piston brakes all around. It has two piston brakes in the back because the rim is so big, it had to make the brakes smaller to fit in there. So I forgot to tell y'all that little gem too. But yeah, man, let me know how y'all feel about the 170. I feel like it's the craziest car. This car is the craziest, a crazy car too still. Like this car is beating 80, 90% of the cars on the road. So 
how that car just did this car. And this car is still like a 80, 90 percent of the road beater. This car is crazy. I want to see this car versus um a play, which you guys gonna see future. Stay tuned for that. Uh McLaren 720 maybe, because those are real fast on the streets, because y'all know they good with traction and all that. Basically what comes with the street is the more traction, the better. Cause we know how this car gonna act at the drag strip on a prep surface. It's gonna be real hard to beat. This car is hard to beat on the prep surface, so keep that in mind. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's your boy Camel Cat. Let me know what y'all wanna see next with these demons. I think we should break the top speed, bro, and put it on 85. Y'all let me know in the comment section. Let's get it.